Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today <clears throat> I just found something on Facebook. This is uh, first, um, according to Variety, Jamie Lee Curtis is returning to play the iconic Laurie Strode in the Halloween franchise. That's right, guys. John Carpenter is returning as well to not really reboot the franchise. Uh, but they're going back to the original franchise. As you know, Rob Zombie took over the reins and rebooted it a few years back. Now they're going back to the original franchise, which ended with Halloween Resurrection. And they're going to com continue that continuity. Now, according to Variety, it says here, Universal Pictures also set October 19th, 2018 as the release date. What's calling the final film in the Halloween series? The horror movie is being produced by Trancas Entertainment Films, Blumhouse Productions, and Miramax. As you guys know, Miramax took over Dimension Films. Uh, Curtis's character will have a final confrontation with Michael Myers, the masked figure who has haunted her since she narrowly escaped his killing spree on Halloween night four decades ago. John Carpenter will executive produce and serve as creative consultant on the film. Joining leading horror producer Jason Bloom, who's behind Get Out, Split, and The Purge, as well as the Paranormal Activity franchises. David Gordon Green is directing from a script he co-wrote with Danny McBride. Malek Akkad, whose Trancas International Films has produced the series since its inception, will produce. Green and McBride will executive produce under their Rough House Pictures banner. Green's directing credits include Pineapple Express and Our Brand is Crisis. Uh, K Carpenter came on board the project in May of 2016. The Halloween film franchise was started in part by Carpenter and Mustafa Akkad in 1978 and has led to 10 films that have grossed nearly $400 million worldwide. Now, many of you are saying... But Jamie Lee Curtis died in Resurrection, right at the beginning of Halloween Resurrection. How is she going to come back? There has been talk of a direct sequel to Halloween 2. Uh, how, accurate that, how accurate that is, I'm not sure. Uh, and if you guys will recall, Chaos Comics several years ago did a trilogy of comics. Uh, Halloween, Halloween the Blackest Eyes, Halloween the Darkest Eyes, or Halloween the Devil's Eyes, something like that. Which I will be reviewing all three of those issues come October. But for now, if if you guys have, haven't have read that story, uh, go ahead and exit off here now. I don't want to spoil it for you. So three, two, one, spoilers. Okay. In that Chaos Comics trilogy, Michael Myers returns. It takes place. It takes place um, after Halloween H two O, and it merges the two Halloween universes. Um, many of you hardcore Halloween fans will know that Halloween, Halloween two, and then Halloween H two O. And resurrection are all part of one universe. After two, it splits off. Okay, so then we have Halloween, Halloween two, and then Halloween four, five, and six, which is the curse of Michael Myers, are their own separate thing. So it splits off right after two, and then Halloween three is its own separate thing altogether. So. It splits off right after two. Two different uh, universes, I guess you'd call it. Two different storylines. Uh, one in which Jamie Lee Curtis as Laurie Strode has a daughter named Jamie. And Laurie ends up getting killed in a car wreck. And Jamie ends up becoming the foster child of uh, another couple. And Michael finds out about her and goes after her. Kills her in six, and she, right before or right after she has a daughter or a child, which, if you watch the director's cut 
of the curse of Michael Myers. It shows that Michael is actually the father of Jamie's baby. It's kind of hinted at in the theatrical version, but no, in the director's cut, it was very much extended. Michael was the uh, father of Jamie's baby. So it, it is very strange, but very cool nonetheless. Now in Chaos Comics uh, trilogy, they found a way to merge the universe back together to where uh, uh, part one, two, four, five, six, and H2O were all in the same universe, but it takes place before Resurrection. And it doesn't, Resurrection um, isn't acknowledged at all. So what happens is Michael is back in uh, Chaos Comics version and he goes on his killing spree. Uh, but eventually he's demasked and it turns out Michael, the real Michael Myers was beheaded by Laurie Strode at the end of H2O. Lori went crazy and took on the persona of Michael in his place. So Lori Strode became the new Michael Myers. I don't want to say any more about any more than that, mainly because I forgot how it, how it ends. Other than that, um, but like I said, I'm going to reread the series, and I'm going to get back to you guys in October with a full on review of it. And uh, now back to Jamie Lee Curtis returning to the Halloween film franchise. It would I've said this for years. They should return to the original franchise and they should treat the Rob Zombie version as a based on real events type in movie movie, you know, kind of like have it in the Carpenter Halloween universe as based on true events. If you understand what I'm saying. Um, so if they go the route that Chaos Comics went by completely ignoring Resurrection, which was by far the worst of the series, I'm not counting three because three was pretty good. It wasn't a Michael Myers movie, but it was good for what it was. Resurrection was the worst of the franchise. So if they ignore Resurrection, it could be good. It could make sense how they return her. Uh, however, if they make it a direct sequel to two, make it the Halloween three that we never got. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I like that. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Uh, and for more information on this, you can go to variety.com. Uh, there is a, uh, article on there entitled Jamie Lee Curtis returning for Halloween reboot. Uh, and it was written by Dave McNary. Uh, so if you want, feel free to go check that out. I'm Shannon for Comageddon TV. Take care, guys.